It's not necessarily what you'd expect to see in Times Square. It's pretty surreal. I mean, surrounded by all these flashing lights and people. I'm used to just playing in a, in a room by myself, but it's a little different. It's got to pretend you're still home. Bob is just one of the urban virtuosos entertaining New Yorkers as part of the pop-up piano project. Old, careworn pianos are lovingly restored back to their former glory, jazzed up by artists and volunteers, and then placed in key locations all over the city by the Sing for Hope charity. This year we had 60 uprights, this year we have 60 uprights plus 28 grands. So 88 because that's the number of keys on a keyboard and it's the largest uh, street piano installation in the world to date. And the cool thing is every one of these amazing instruments is an individually created, credited professional artwork. Blind pianist Johnny Young from Brooklyn, the opportunity to give an impromptu concert on 42nd Street was just too good to miss. Nothing's better than playing outside and all the sounds around you, the city and the fresh air. And it's a different environment. It's really acoustically totally different too. So you got to play a little harder than you would indoors because you don't have any reflection. The sound just goes out into the atmosphere. So-called piano buddies have volunteered to take care of the instruments over the next two weeks. Once the installation is over, the pianos will be donated to schools, hospitals and community organisations so the music can play on. Geraldine Cooper, Sky News.